Alright, so in my Eastern video I said that if that video got 2k likes I would super wicked mono. Probably not a good decision. Uh, <laughs> she's just bad. She's really bad. I uh, honestly, I'm not even gonna showcase her in a way that she can be used on global because there's no point. She's really bad. Do not level 80 her if you don't have resources to level 80 every single year in the game. I'm telling you this right now. Yes, she's really hot. I'm not denying that I bought every costume. And there's other things every costume, but... But... There's... You know? She's not good. Anyways, so... What does she do? Um, first of all, she kind of got revived on GP. A little bit. Her passive is that she does extra 50% damage against enemies who have bleed, poison, or shock debuff. Well, guess who just released that does that? These two, so... She kind of got revived in that way. Now, this card, her cards really offend me. They, they personally offend me. Especially this one. This card is a personal offense to me. It's the worst... In, it's the worst combination of card in unit I've ever seen. This card has the effect severe or sever, whatever. Double crit chance. That's the worst thing you could have got, given her. I'll explain why. It's 160, 240, 400. Double crit chance. Why is it the worst thing ever? She has a hundred and two percent chance to crit. What's the point? What's the point of doubling that? You could have given her double crit damage. Double crit damage would have been insane! 100% chance to crit with double crit damage? Which is 177%? Bro, she would have been crazy good! But now, you double crit chance. Now, now she's guaranteed to crit every single person she hits. Yeah, that's true, but like... It could have been so much better. Just change that one effect. The other card applies poison, which was a single target. 150, 225... 375. It's a recently buffed card. This card was buffed. Her ultimate applies bleed. Um, I have her 6-6, uh, The minimum is 455%. And that's about it. Uh, let's take her on PvP. Ungeared, mostly because I do not have UR gear for her, so taking her on... on what's crit damage? This is crit damage. I'm actually gonna use crit damage. Just because. Um, if I took her on gear, she would be stomped by units with UR gear, so it would be no point. So, she and Easton should release next week for Global. If not, maybe the week after, I don't know. Regardless, I, Easton is pretty good for a guild boss. Specifically, the, um, the one Global currently has. Because guild boss is uh, circle, uh, you know, circling pretty uh, much every single two, three weeks now, I think. Uh, JP just, just changed guild boss again. So I, I think it's it's um, changing pretty frequently. Right, 141k. He's using, of course, a team that has actual CC. I'm using mono. <laughs> um, but yeah, the, the East is pretty decent on that. But other than that, yeah, he went for uh, Melly's ultimate. I already lost. Unless, the only way I can win is if Mono can break this shield and poison him. Never mind. Alright, oh, I lost the vein. Of course I'm going second again because I'm using Mono. I'm, I'm going to take off the, uh, the, the crit damage. I'm going to put CC through. I don't, I don't want to go second. Um, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, the reason why, by the way. I didn't crit with Mono even though she has 200% chance to crit, or 100%. The other card is the one that uh, increases. It's because uh, you can't crit with this shield. Let's check her damage real quick. And this. So, the, um, the handy right here is going to have the, the debuffs, right? To be fair, it's not true, true 
considering that you have to factor the enemy's core resistance, which I don't really know which um, how much core resistance um, Hendrickson really has. I, I should check that out. Okay, okay, okay. How much core resistance do you have? I mean, I have one myself, so let me check. Um, 53%, okay. So, let's do this, this, and this. How much damage do you do, Mono? 31k for level 2, that's not so bad. How much is King's level 2 gonna do? Just for comparison's sake, you know? 58k. Similar damage. <laughs> it's, not, it's not a fair comparison, of course. Of course it's not a fair comparison, it's, it's, it's King. It's the new new festival exclusive with the one of the most insane cards, combinations in the game, right? But it's funny to compare. <laughs> Alright, her ult with the extra 50% damage should do good. But she's dead, so... That kind of makes it hard to really use the ultimate when she's dead. Um, Melly didn't die, but he should die with Hendrix's cards, I think. Yeah, this should um, this should kill them. I used all three just because. Yeah, kills Melly. Kills him again. Mhm, mm mhm. Mm King's gonna do an ultimate use next turn. All right, she's dead, so we move on to the next match. As you can see, she's trying. Alright. I actually put attack food. Um, yeah. <laughs> that was my whole sentence. I actually put attack food because it, it increases the CC a little bit and I'm more interested to see how much damage Mono can provide me, I guess. More than anything. Oh yeah, let's also talk about this. Uh, Mono's uh, debuff card, the Poison one is being buffed by Hendrickson as well, because Hendrickson, his passive is that he increases debuff attack skills by 50%, so she is also getting buffed in that sense as well. With that being said, I should be able to kill his Hendrickson right here, given all this attack boost and everything, right? Let's do this. 19k. 36k, he got revived. <sighs> I mean, man, she is with her own passive of increasing damage by 50% and Hendrickson's passive of increasing damage by 50%. <laughs> uh, she's being so buffed, it's actually crazy. She has every buff imaginable. Right, let me kill you, you handy. And I'm gonna put faith that this will finish her off. I'm, I'm stupid. Uh, Elizabeth has type advantage against Mono, I'm stupid. Double crit chance though, let's go. That was kinda dumb though. It's fine, I, I knew King would finish off. Double crit, it could have been crit damage. It could have been crit damage, man. Oh, I got my ult. Unless she takes it away. Which she probably will. Ah, it's fine. Oh, okay. Nice, I can do ult. I can do my ult. Let's see how much damage her ult's gonna do. Let me do this so I break the shield. And debuff and then ult. It could have been anyone. I, I chose Merlin because, yeah. <laughs> Again, she is doing extra 50% damage. 96k. I mean, that's enough to one shot any unit, right? And ungeared. Alright, let me play one more. Spoke too soon, I wanna see this. I spoke <clears throat> too soon. Again, buffed by passive, actually 50% damage. I mean, she do be kinda critting every time. This is in Eastern City. Okay. We follow Elizabeth, of course. Um, yeah, same as always. The triple card, the triple combo over here. The usual. 
It's good to face a green unit so I can actually test some damage of mono though. Nice. Hmm. What should do? Oh, he's attacks with me. No, stunning. Well, that might have been the worst play I've ever seen in my life. Um. Anyways, let's do this. She has a hundred percent chance to crit. What's she doing? Thirty-six k. Let's say we found the buffs, the debuff. Yeah, yeah, she do. <laughs> she in fact does extra fifty percent damage. Yeah, yeah. Her passive in fact is a thing. If if anyone was wondering, her passive in fact is a thing. Hmm. Now it should be a taxi with me. Or stun. All right, now. I'm just mad. I'm actually mad. How much did damage do you normally? Level 1? Boop, boop. 31k. Level 1, that's not bad. Alright, this will be my last match. Um, kind of already saw what I wanted to see. I got Mono's... Um, I, I mean, I... I got back there in gap because... Um, He's gonna, yeah, triple debuff me. Uh, I don't think there's a chance of me winning. So, if I can't even win, I might as well just do this. Which one does more damage again? 86, 76. I might as well just do this. See how much damage she can do on that, uh, that handy right there. Okay. I mean, almost killed him. I say I can't even win because uh, I mean he's using my team, but a better version and went first. I don't think I can win this one. I have only applied shock, so I still have bleed to apply. I can kill his uh, handy next turn, right? probably. Whoa. All right, uh, <laughs> you really did. <laughs> Note yourself, don't use radiance. They will get obliterated. Um, the one issue is that if I kill Hendrickson, he just come comes back to life. Mm, I don't think I'll kill him. This, he already has poison. I'll just. Uh, I'll just do this, this, and like this. I'll, I won't kill him, there's no point. He'll just go back to life with uh, no debuffs and won't lose his uh, thing. His, uh, his ultimate gauge, I mean. <laughs> he really tried to stun my king, huh? <laughs> that was... <laughs> I love Ludo CL. I know he's not even in the match, but he's doing something. I need to, I need to, uh, I need to say I love Ludo CL until it make it made sense for me to spend that much resources on him. I need to, at this point. Um, if he doesn't kill my king, I can win. All right. So. What I meant by that is, um, I'm going to do this, this, and hope that this is enough to kill both Handy and Elizabeth. Kill Handy again, kill Handy again, kill Handy again. Nice. But my king is dead. Like, he, he just hits my king and he's just dead. <laughs> the king's dead. Oh! He didn't have a single target? Or something? Nah, he did, okay. okay. He managed to use both, okay. 
Because I was level 2, so I thought maybe he combined cards, but no. He managed to use both. Um, I'm gonna do this and this. This will force him to take off my ultimate gauge. Unless his cards combine, which he didn't, okay. I mean, I lost. Uh, I didn't get a take off ultimate gauge card, unless... Unless it doesn't kill my handy. Oh. It's too debuffed, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, I won. <laughs> I thought I lost, but I won. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I just leave the rest of this match real quick. Just because. But that's it. Mono is just hot. That's it. Th that's all she has. I'm not going